everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I'm super excited that you chose to stop by today. So today is the last day of my series Travel With Me and on Monday and Tuesday I posted videos about how I pack for my kids, uh, both suitcase and carry-on. And yesterday I posted um, a video about what I pack for myself as a carry-on um, both for road trips as well as um, air flight. So today what I'll be showing is how I pack my own suitcase. So we generally pack to carry on. So my suitcase is 20 to 21 inches and you will see that I can't even fill that up. So I always allow myself a pretty significant amount of space in case I find things um, you know, that I wanna bring back or you just never know. But you'll see with how I pack, it still allows a lot of space even with a carry-on. So let me show you how I do it. This is my suitcase and it is a hard side. And you'll see it just kinda has some bumpers here on the side. It has wheels that totally spin around that way um, it's one of those that you can, you know, kind of push along beside you. And it also has uh, a travel okayed lock right here. And I can link this down below. This is actually a Samsonite. So let me open it up for you. And as you can see, I have a lot of space that I haven't even packed and I do this on purpose because I want to be able to bring things back and never have to find myself in a Target or a Walmart buying another suitcase. I think that's just, um, that's not my thing personally. So I always try to pack in a way that is efficient and can still allow me um, space inside to be able to bring things back that are meaningful to me. So on this side, I um, only have my travel backpack in here. And I don't generally take a purse when we go on vacation because I like to have both of my hands free. And by taking this, it allows me to do that. And I will link this down below as well. Um, but I, I really like this. I take the backpack um, that I use as my carry-on that I showed in my other video, and um, I use that on the airplane, and then when we get to our destination, I just put the things in here that I need. Um, my wallet, my sunglasses, usually my camera, and my phone. I will also put in my um, little clear, uh, pouch that I have in my travel um, backpack that I did a video of um, a couple days ago so if you didn't see that hop on over there and check that out but I will uh, insert a picture here so that you can see um, what I'm talking about and then if you want to see what's actually um, in that little plastic pouch you can um, watch my carry-on video And really, that's pretty much all that you need um, when you're on vacation and you're walking around and whatnot. You just don't need all the other stuff. Um, as moms, it's kind of hard to say, oh, but what if this happens? Well, it may, but it usually doesn't. So this is just a little... Um, backpack here and it's just got a fairly decent amount of space in there like I said just for a wallet and different things it's got a little zip side uh, right there it's kind of hard to see but then you can just clasp it down and um, then on the back here it also has a zipper pouch this is where I keep my phone and you can either wear this as a backpack, which that's always what I do, or you can pull it up like this. Whoops. 
and use it as a crossbody. If you wanted it longer, you would just pull these down to here and then it would make your, your strap longer. So that is what I keep in this side. And then in these two zipper pouches, this is where I keep all of my liquid toiletries because this, um, before we get through security, I actually throw this in my backpack. That way I can take it out as we're going through security and not have to pull it out of here. And then once we get through security, then I just go ahead and put this back in the suitcase. But this is my bag of toiletries and I will show you what all I have in here and of how I organize it to make everything that I need fit uh, inside. So let me just, um, let me just lay everything out here and then I'll just put it back in as I tell you what it is. Again, I don't take things that I don't need um, just because I'm not at home. I'm not going to be living like I'm at home. I'm on vacation. I'm there with my family or my friends to have fun and spend time together. And I'm just, you just don't live away from home like you do at home. So um, I just make sure to have, you know, the essentials that I need. So right here is my um, Redken Guts. And this is what I use on my hair. Um, it's just like a mousse or whatever. So I get the travel size in that just because I have not found anything that I like as well. Um, and my hair is really uh, fine and straight. And so there's just only a few certain things that actually work for my hair. Um, this is the Big Sexy Hair uh, Spray and Stay. And so, again, kind of the same situation as the mousse, which is why I um, get that. And then this is how I store my toiletries. This right here is my SK2. And um, this is what I put on my face after I wash it. What I do is I just put a little bit of that in there just because that stuff is liquid gold and so I don't want to put um, too much in there for fear that you know it could leak and then I take a piece of tape and I put it over the um, container this container is just from the Walmart um, travel section I think I bought it in like a group of four or something like that I don't know I've had it forever uh, but I put the tape over it that way if I ever decide to change out these bottles and put something different in it I Don't have a bunch of writing on here um, with a sharpie marker I can just take the tape off and then um, put another piece back on and write, you know, whatever it is that I'm replacing what's in there now with so um, I've got my my sk2 in here. I have it in a spray bottle that way I can just spray it into a cotton ball and um, use it that way. And then I have my um, scope and just like I said in my kids video, I don't buy a new one of these every time. I just continue to refill the one that I had been using. And then these little things down here these you can buy in a group of two. So I bought um, two packets way back when I got them. But they have them there all the time. So I know you'd be able to find them. But they are just these little um, screw cap containers. And I love that because I don't have to worry about things, you know, coming out of them. And I don't ever put liquid liquid in here so this is all like gel type stuff and I do the same deal with these that I do with my bottles and I just stick a, a piece of tape over the top right on it with a sharpie marker so this is my hair cream that I put on um, right after I blow dry it 
And then this is my foundation. I do not travel with my foundation um, pump that I use at home. I just, I don't need that much. Um, and honestly, if it were ever to break or explode, foundation is, you know, fairly pricey. And so I don't want to have to replace it. So I just put enough in there to get me by, um, you know, for a week or whatever, however long I'm going to be gone. And then I bring along with me my sponge um, applicator and I just dip it in that way and or with my finger and put it on my face and then just blend it in. And then this is my face lotion and um, same thing. I just wrote on it even though it's not wanting to focus for me to show you. I just, you know, did enough uh, pumps in there for what I would need, there we go, for um, the week. And again, I keep these constantly in here. I don't ever take them out. And um, other than my foundation, just because I don't want my foundation sitting in there, these are always full. So after my trip, I just always come back and refill them, that way they're ready to go. But for the foundation, I usually just do that right before we leave because I just don't want foundation sitting in there not being used because again it's not super cheap so there's those two things there and then this right here uh, is my primer for under my foundation and uh, I just did the same thing here only I put it on the bottom um, because the the little top here is black and you wouldn't be able to see it so Stuck it on the bottom there, squeeze some primer in, and um, this does stay in there. And uh, it's just in a nice tiny little container so that it doesn't take up a lot of space in my bag because you know you do have to have, this is um, okayed for travel, but that's because it's the same size as a um, Ziploc bag. And it's not the big one, it's the medium size. So not the snack. Um, not the, you know, little sandwich one that kind of clips. It's the next one up that you can slide. So you have to be able to fit everything in there. And this is the equivalent to that size. Um, but I like this because it has a zipper. And, um, when you use a quart size bag, a lot of times that zipper that's on there, that little plastic slide comes off and then you're stuck with a wide open bag. So I just really like using this. This is from Target. Um, over in the makeup section, they have all kinds of different sizes uh, if you're interested in that. And then this right here is my um, Estee Lauder Revitalizing um, Cream, and I use this at nighttime. And I just keep it in this little tiny um, travel sized container. This right here is my perfume, and I love these things. Uh, again, everything that I talk about, I will link down below. But what this is, is just a little holder that holds, you know, a small amount of perfume. And so there is a insert on the bottom here. And what you do is you just take the spray part off of your um, perfume bottle to where, you know, it just shows that little kind of tube thing sticking up. You stick that on the tube and you just kind of, you know, pump it like this and it will fill the inside of this with your perfume. That way you don't have to take your entire perfume bottle with you. And again, I just refill that when we come back home. That way it's ready to go for the next time. Now this right here is my, um, my pigment solution that I also use at nighttime and in the morning um, after I wash my face. And <laughs> so I couldn't figure out a way to travel with this because it's kind of like um, an oil. And so what I came up with was, this is an old um, baby Tylenol container, like the little tiny travel size. So I just cleaned that out, again, put my tape on it, um, wrote on there what it is, and you'll see in my other bag, I used the syringe that came with this to get out my oil. Um, because what I have here at home, it's actually a dropper. 
but I didn't have a way to do that and I did not want to bring the whole thing with me. So I just put a little bit in there and then um, to get it out, I just used the, the baby syringe that comes with the Tylenol container and that's how I do that. And it's nice and small, so again, it doesn't take up space. Uh, these right here, so I'll just show you all of these at the same time here. Um, this is my shampoo, conditioner, and um, face soap. And you can buy these in a pack of three at um, Target. I don't know that Walmart has them, but I wouldn't be surprised um, if they do. But it's just like little tiny uh, squeeze containers that you can buy for like lunches um, and this right here the one on my blue and pink one have broken but I still use it anyway um, but this right here just pops off and then it clips back on and it's nice and tight that's why I love them because I've never ever had an issue with spilling but again with the tape just stuck it on there wrote what it is so I've got face wash uh, conditioner and shampoo and like I said this just um, pops off just like a ketchup um, container at a picnic and then you can stick it back on there and it really is um, nice and tight so I love that because again I don't have to worry about spilling and so um, oh I forgot one I didn't see it back there and then my uh, visine you know, when you travel, especially if you're flying, your eyes get really dry. And so I just take a little tiny one of these and um, I'm good to go. But all of this stuff here is just nice and small. It's exactly what I need um, and it doesn't take up a ton of space and I can fit it all in that container just like that. And like I said, it just fits right in here. Um, just a little kind of trick or tip whatever you want to call it when I put this in here after we go through security or if I am um, road traveling I put my container bag up from my wheels so my wheels are right here if my when my husband puts it in the van or in the trunk whatever he always stands them up this way and so this way I know that all of my things are going to be standing upright like this and not upside down um, to leak. You know when we're in an airplane this just kind of slides in like that. That way you know um, I know that all of my things are upright and they're not tipped upside down uh, and leaking. And then on this side um, what I bring is my um, Apple Watch charger and then I just have two bands over here. I don't wear a lot of um, jewelry, really hardly any at all. And so um, every once in a while, you know, I switch out my watch bands or whatever. And so it's just something light, doesn't take up, you know, but maybe an ounce of weight. And so I just throw those in there for fun. And then this opens up here. And on this side is where I keep all of my clothes and the rest of my toiletries. So in this little pack right here, and this is just um, kind of a, a double zippered um, makeup bag. And I like it because, you know, it's easy to um, wipe if something were to spill. But on the inside, in the first section, I have a little um, tiny tweezer and this actually gets through security. I've never had any trouble at all. You can buy these at um, Walmart. They come in a pack of four or five different colors and shapes and whatever. Um, so I put that in there and then I have my eyebrow pencil and my um, eyeliner. And then in here are all of my brushes that I use for blush. Um, highlighting, eyeshadow, uh, all of that. And I like this also because it has a little plastic thing that comes over it. So, you know, the uh, residue that are on your brushes, it doesn't, you know, get all over here and make stuff briny. So there is that, that little section. And then down below 
in the other zipper compartment is where I keep the rest of my makeup that is not liquid. Um, because I don't have to take that stuff out to show security. So like I was saying, this is my, um, my blender sponge and I just keep it in a little Ziploc bag um, right here just so that it doesn't, you know, get all over in here. And then this is my uh, eyeshadow, obviously um, my primer and mascara. And then my um, concealer right here, the concealer pack, and my blush and uh, bronzer. So all of that just fits right in there and gets zipped up and um, isn't taking up tons of space. And again, I don't wear a ton of makeup to begin with, but um, you just don't need a ton when you travel as far as I'm concerned. You know, you kind of have your basics. For most people, you're not going to be changing out your eyeshadow color every day. Um, and so you just kind of need the minimum of, you know, what you would normally just do on your average day. And this bag is the rest of my toiletries. This is the same bag, um, just obviously different pattern <clears throat> that I use for my kids in um, their suitcase. And in here what I have is, so going back to those same little baggies, I'm telling you, I use them absolutely everywhere that I can. So I have a little baggie here and hello Daisy. Uh, what I have in here are micellar wipes. Um, I'm not sure if that's exactly how you say it, but that's that's how I say it. So what they are is um, just some cleansing wipes that I use to wash my face every night. I actually use the micellar water um, at home and I just put it on a cotton ball, but this way I am not having to travel with yet another liquid um, and having to find space for that. So with these just being cloths, I can stick them in here and this is not something that I would get tagged on in security. So everything inside of this bag is uh, all of my toiletries minus, um, you know, everything that is liquid that I would need to take out going through security. So these right here are my eye makeup removers and what it is is just the Neutrogena um, eye makeup remover. I cut the sheet that um, they come in into tenths and that way I just have something this size because it it doesn't take me an entire sheet to you know get the eye makeup off of my eyes. It just takes me um, this size to do so and so I just cut them into tents and that way it saves me a lot of money and um, I actually get better use out of them. So that is what is in that compartment. <coughs> then here in the front I have some masks that I take with me. Um, I have, I've said it before, I have very sensitive skin so I really have to be careful. And when I travel, it just seems like my skin becomes all dramatic and throws a fit. And so there are a few things that I take to kind of try to help in that. So I have these um, moisturizing uh, gel eye masks. And this is just because obviously, you know, you don't sleep as great when you're traveling as you do when you're at home. And sometimes that starts to show. So I just take these. And then I have some Biore strips that I take, um, just kind of for obvious reasons. You know, your pores can get kind of clogged, and so just to get that junk out of there. I have a uh, detoxifying mask. This is a gel, so I do not get um, tagged going through security. And this kind of clears out all of the yucky stuff on your face when you're, you know, walking around, all of the just stuff out and about in the air. And then this one here is a hydrating uh, sheet mask. And again, 
because it's not a liquid I don't get tagged but with flying and things like that a lot of time my skin will get dry and so I take that with me these are my pimple pads they are in one of my uh, favorites videos I absolutely swear by these and so I take these along with me as well and so all of that just fits right in front here in the um, zipper pouch and then on the inside of the bag actually let me do this so this right here is just a little headband that I use when washing my face and then this is the syringe that I was talking about, or the dropper, whatever you want to call it, that came with the children's Motrum that I put my um, RE pigment in and just um, use this to get it out. And again, all of these things stay in this pack. That way I am ready to go every time we are ready to go. So this is my round brush. Um, this also stays in here. I have two of them and I just leave this one in this bag. This right here is my traveling hair dryer. I can uh, link this down below. I really like this because it fits perfectly in that space and um, I just, it's a good hair dryer. Some of the ones in, you know, the hotel rooms and they're grimy and just grosses me out. It pushes out a lot of air, whereas some of the ones in, you know, the hotel room just don't because they're tired. Then in this little pouch right here, I have um, Q-tips and cotton balls. I have a toothbrush. I found this at Target in the travel section. It just closes and, and opens, so, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space. I have a razor. Um, this, so what I do, and you know, everybody is different. I just buy a cheap razor every time that we travel, and I throw it away when we're done traveling. So the day that we're leaving and I'm cleaning up all of my toiletries in the bathroom, I just go ahead and pitch this. Um, you know, you can do whatever suits you whether that's just changing out the head of you know one of your more expensive razors that you use at home or whatever best fits your situation for me it's just keeping really cheap ones in here and pitching them right before we come home and then i have a travel toothpaste and an emery board and then down here along the side, I have deodorant. And that is it. So all of those things just fit nicely right inside here. And this is not a bag that I have to worry about, you know, having things in um, that will need to be pulled out going through security. I can just keep this inside my bag everything in it just stays in here and so I am all ready to go every time we are ready to travel um, also I like to keep that uh, hair dryer in there because if you are traveling to people's homes you know they don't always have a hair dryer that you um, can use a lot of people don't have those in their in their guest bathrooms and so this way, this one is just always in here and I don't have to worry about it. So that is what is in my uh, non-liquid toiletry bag. And this container is where I keep um, my uh, undergarments. So in here um, is where I keep my underwear and then under here is where I keep my bras. That way I don't have to have them mashed. Um, and then if you, you know, like I said, I don't do jewelry really, but you could put, you know, earrings in here or necklaces or whatever you, you have that, you know, could fit in there. And so that is 
how I store my bras um, so that you know they don't get mashed down in the suitcase. And lastly is my uh, clothing. And just like my kids' packing cubes, I use the same ones. Um, this one is just a little bit bigger than the one that they use because obviously my clothes are bigger. And so I will um, insert a picture right here showing you all of the things that I am able to fit in here. And like I mentioned in my kids' video as well, I don't pack tons of outfits. Um, I typically pack a lot of stuff that can kind of be worn together. Um, I don't pack a lot of bulky things. Obviously, it's summertime, so you can get by with that a little bit more. But even in the fall and the winter, I do a lot of layering. And I do a lot of um, switching outfits with each other. Um, shirts that can be worn with more than one pair of pants, um, you know, that kind of thing. So what I have in here is, um, you know, what you saw in the picture. I've got a pair of jeans, three pairs of shorts, a swimsuit, swimsuit cover-up, uh, four shirts. And my shirts are, so this is just, you know, really lightweight t-shirt material, these two right here. And then these two right here are just a very thin, lightweight, um, kind of silkish, almost, uh, shirts. So don't take up a lot of space um, or weight. And then these under here are my pajamas. I've got a hat, a sweatshirt, um, zip-up sweatshirt, hoodie type thing. And I believe that's it. And so all of that just stays um, in this cube um, to where it's contained and easy to pack. And then it just fits right in there just like that. And this zips up and I am ready to go. And I have space over here still if I find souvenirs that I want to bring back. And I have plenty of room and will not find myself buying um, a duffel bag to bring back home. So that's it friends. That is how I simply pack for myself. Um, and only take the things that I need and will actually use. I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I hope that there were some things in it that you will be able to implement into your next travels. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed to this channel, I would love it if you would join my community over here on YouTube. Just click on that subscribe button down below as well as that little bell and what the bell does is it just notifies you every time that I post a new video. That way you don't have to go searching for it. Until next time, friends, I just encourage you to create a life that you absolutely love living and will not need a vacation from. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.